Hi, I'm John Holden, and welcome to The Green Room. We're starting off the show in the beautiful countryside of Belgium, where the environment is not only the lifeblood of the economy, it's also a source of beauty, as you're about to see. For any company to succeed these days, it must have a sustainable plan. And if that company relies on the environment for its products, it must ask the question, how can we maintain growth when we have finite natural resources? L'Oreal takes a holistic approach to sustainability. Our policies and practices are developed with the goals of operating a business that provides for economic growth, environmental stewardship, and social responsibility. Our achievements and successes over the last 100 years have shown us that our business grows when we are uh, respectful of our consumers, our employees, the local communities around the world where we have our plants and offices, but also when we are respectful towards our environment and the finite natural resources of the planet. The world of beauty is one such industry in which the success of each product must be weighed against its impact on the environment and our own health. L'Oreal embraces eco-design when it comes to the development of our products. Today, more than 40% of our ingredients come from plant origin. Of those, more than 400 have the EcoCert Bio certification. 200 of our ingredients are derived from organic agriculture. And so you can clearly see that responsible sourcing and fair trade are an important part of how we get our ingredients. L'Oreal also develops new active ingredients using what's called green chemistry. This is chemistry that uses low energy processes and is environmentally friendly throughout the entire life cycle of the product. Proxylan is an example of an anti-aging ingredient that was developed by uh, L'Oreal based on the principles of green chemistry. But that said, for all of our ingredients, irrespective of their original source, they are all assessed for human safety, but also for their environmental impact. And today, we're proud to say that 99% of all of our ingredients have been rigorously tested for ecotoxicity. If an ingredient doesn't meet our sustainability criteria, then we simply walk away. As the world's largest beauty company, L'Oreal sells nearly 5 billion products a year in more than 130 countries. And sustainability and diversity are a big part of the sales equation. We have a fundamental belief that diversity provides greater creativity. For over 100 years, L'Oreal has been committed to the quest for beauty. But in that time, it's also been on a constant quest for environmental stewardship to find ways to reduce its carbon footprint. The ambitious goals uh, that we have uh, in L'Oreal uh, is to reduce CO2 emissions, to reduce water and energy consumption, and to reduce waste. This uh, will be done with many projects we have around the world. For instance, here at its cosmetics plant in Liebermoen, Belgium, not far from Brussels, L'Oreal's search for a greener future has led to the use of an energy that really couldn't be more natural. As the first 100% green energy plant in all of Europe, the facility uses state-of-the-art technology to transform biomass from local farmers and the agriculture industry into methane gas, which provides electricity and heat to run the plant. We produce in this way 100% of our electrical needs in the plant. And we produce also 80% of our needs on uh, heat. It's something that the community is asking for. We have a responsibility to the society and to our planet. In fact, more green electricity is generated here than is actually needed to run the plant, allowing the surplus power to be injected into the public grid enough power to meet the needs of nearly 4,000 households. So the homes around here are powered by the Liebermann plant. 4,000 of our neighbors get their electricity from the plant, exactly. As leader in it, the beauty industry, L'Oreal needs to be an authentic model of sustainability. We intend to set the bar very high and work hard to meet those challenges. L'Oreal's 100-year commitment to beauty has also been a century of commitment to the environment. And that's a beautiful thing for this green earth.